Hey guys, welcome back to Soulback Sports, and I'm so back with another video. And today, I'm going to be discussing what the Chicago Bulls situation is currently when the trade deadline is literally tomorrow, and what they should do going forward, and how they essentially got here. But before we get into this video, please again, don't forget to subscribe. We've hit over 100 subscribers yesterday, and I thank you guys so much for that. And let's continue it on more. So, Going into the video now, so the Chicago Bulls right now sit pretty much second to last above Detroit, but to be honest, essentially that you could consider that last place because Detroit's on its own like plane of being garbage this season, but anyways, I'm saying like the central standing wise, like every team is above 500 and then we're just there and Overall, this team has been the definition of mid. And going forward in the uh, like the trade deadline and even the offseason, like, we're going to ask a lot of questions in regards to what our core is going to be like going forward, what moves we're going to make to probably separate that core, and what young talent do we have to essentially start a rebuild. And these are questions that, aren't necessarily easy to answer given a couple of wins like crucial wins really against some good teams so if we go to the schedule um so yesterday was against like our game was against the minnesota timberwolves and we won in overtime and i gotta say when watching that game i was really impressed with how we were able to come back from 23 point deficit but I feel like that was like that game was more of a smokescreen to what is really happening behind the scenes. Because if you see in the previous like month, like there was a streak of wins, but that was mainly against Charlotte and Houston. And like our wins have been against like teams that aren't really contending or say until Minnesota. But and it just it's just not like the most impressive like set of schedule you know and overall one thing is for certain is that uh the levine situation which i'll get into further um it just got more confusing with what our roster looks like in terms of our injuries and we haven't had a consistently healthy roster throughout the season and yeah, it just only makes things more inconsistent than we, we already are. So, using the teams like... we I remember watching this game against Phoenix, and it was like, we had the game, but we Kevin Durant exists. So, it's like games like that, where we're just right at the cusp, but we lose these crucial games that we should win. And similarly like early on in the season i feel like there was like the stretch of games where we beat like philly we beat los angeles we beat san Ant well san antonio is not really contending but we had like a stretch of games where we were actually we beat philly twice that says a lot um the season but overall like we had a really bad losing streak here we had a, some winning streak here like we have spurts and that's not a consistent like formula when it comes to if you want to contend in the eastern conference like look at our eastern conference right now so top four celtics Cavs, bucks knicks i feel like the bucks might fall a little but that's for another video um but we sit at ninth and that's above barely above the hawks nets and etc so if we're in play in contention right now, but the only issue is that our schedule is not going to get any easier. But and the thing is, we don't have Levine for the rest of the season. So, what does this mean now for the trade deadline? And trade deadline is literally tomorrow. So, I've been reading a bunch of like reports, and pretty much it stated how the main trade piece now that we have is DeRozan from the core group that we do have and maybe even Caruso and the thing is when this team was built back in 2021 it was really good because not only did we have Lonzo Ball balling out this season that season but we were also like firing on all cylinders we were the number one seed back in 2021 going into 2022 and 
what was crazy is that I actually was at the game, the last game Lonzo played, and it was against the Golden State Warriors at home in the United Center. And it still boggles my mind that, dang, we were actually there. It's just unfortunate circumstances like Lonzo being out, being essentially the point guard to facilitate this offense, the like fall off of Levine, like Vucevic not really performing in consistent fashion, like and even like sometimes the rookies and even Patrick Williams and such in the beginning before like tw- like early 2023 like they were not performing either so you would have these all these questions come coming out a mist of a fallout in terms of injury with Lonzo Ball so i felt like it stemmed from all that and the fact that th- it has been inconsistent because Levine's been hurt um the only consistent player you had was DeRozan and DeRozan is a really fine piece. Like, he's going to be good. Like, he's obviously going to bring, you know, the game every single time. He's going to be clutch for the most part. But it's not a team that you want going into, you know, trying to put, make a playoff push. We've made the play-in tournament a bunch of times. We made the eighth seed against the Bucks in 2021, like, 2022. But that's just, with this team, it's not enough, you know. And it's still like it's still kind of crazy to me that this is what ends up happening for the Chicago Bulls all the time. We're just so close yet so far, and we haven't been able to recapture what Michael Jordan did back in the 1990s. Still, and it's the year 2024. But I feel like a rebuild is kind of necessary. Uh, we'll see what happens like in this upcoming stretch of games. I wonder if we're going to move in the trade line. Do I think we're going to move anyone in the trade line? Maybe one piece. Like, of, like, in the main core. Like, maybe DeRozan could be. Because, like, based on these reports, like, DeRozan could be on the move. And we could get some good picks. Picks, uh, like, compensatory picks, too. Like, there's just so much things that, you know, we can do. Uh, but it at the same time we don't. It's like such a paradox we live in. But yeah, let's we'll see what uh, Arturus has to say about what we have to do. And yeah, it just it just I just want good for basketball. I just want good basketball in the city of Chicago. Similar to the I want good football in the city of Chicago. But you know, one thing at a time. And it just sucks. It just sucks being a Chicago fan sometimes because. We have good players like this, and we just can't make it work sometimes. And even Billy Donovan could be in the, on the hot seat too, because you know his like it's just his play style. Like in the beginning of this season, we had a players meet only meeting, and yes, while we did turn it around a lot because we were not good in the beginning of this season, like it's still not enough to warrant bringing Billy Donovan back. So there's questions on coaching, there's questions on the personnel. But I will I'll end this video now with some good news at least. At least now we know that Kobe White is that guy. Is that guy because Kobe White has proven that with the absence of Zach Levine that he is able to take the role of the starting point guard and kind of facilitate the offense whilst make getting buckets. He has been like averaging what 19.9 points per game or something like that and like has career highs in majority of his categories he's out unlocked Ayo Dosumu he's unlocked been able to unlock um Patrick Williams like the fact that this core kind of is deteriorating but it's also shedding light into oh my gosh well we have pretty good young talent here too so we can maybe build off of that too if we start to rebuild so I say rebuild but that's a little bit of a like a shining light in a world of darkness. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, what do you guys think about what the Chicago Bears, sorry, Bears, I mean the Chicago Bulls have like going on? Do you think we should rebuild? Do we think we should, we're close or should we, con- like I would think we're going to contend? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to read them. I would love to comment with you and to kind of discuss. And yeah, that's it for this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.